for posterity, I thought I would take a little video of the garden from where we're at. It is um, June 24th, 2023. And you can see the garden behind me, which is in full sun, which has been good and bad. Um, I am in technically zone 4B, but sometimes our zone behaves a little bit more like 4A. So I kind of plan for things that are 4A and I also kind of follow a lot of Canadian gardeners because a lot of what they do can be very, very helpful here. So let's go check it out. Here's the garden. It is facing out of south. And we have a lot of uh, trees closer up to the house on the property. So it made the most sense to put it in open sun, but in the summer, it gets like 12 hours of sun. My spouse made this fence. He does metalworking. It's pretty cool, you just lift this up. And that's the gate. The garden is 30 by 30 and we have birdies raised beds as well as like an animal feed cattle trow <laughs> that we've had for a little while. And there will be other birdies raised beds in here in the spots where these are. We just um, don't have the finances to buy them all at once. So we're kind of doing it in a step-by-step -step format. So the first thing I have are these extra tall um, birdies beds. I got them in a sale this spring. These are the only extra tall ones we have. I think they're about three feet tall. They are filled with uh, wood, like tree stumps and that sort of stuff, and then wood chips, and then just a little bit of soil on top. So right now we just have shallow rooted plants in there because I just filled them a month ago. Um, and the horticulture, whatever kind of that method is, needs to break down. So I have bell peppers as well as herbs on each side in each of these. I've got yellow peppers and green peppers. And um, these do great because it's very, very hot in here and peppers love the heat. Then we've got a strawberry bed here with violas in them as well. I've been pulling all of the flowers for this first part of the season and now I'm gonna let them go to uh, fruit if they're able to. And then this bed has just had all sorts of interesting chaos happen. I had sunflowers that I was planting peas underneath to help um, climb up the sunflowers to provide them some shade. But apparently we got some sort of like um, a bug, my neighbor says like a dragonfly in the heads and that caused the sunflowers to create all these other heads and all these other like shoots so they so only one of them is the right height which is about two feet tall <laughs> so the bees haven't been able to grow and then they've just they've been dying very slow deaths so uh that didn't end up working out <laughs> so i think because this bug is something that exists here i'm just not going to attempt to use those in the future then I've got my first try at Roma tomatoes. And you can see I've got some little tomatoes forming. I've got a couple late starting herbs. And then these are supposed to be sugar snap peas. There was um, lettuce in here, but um, it was getting too hot for the lettuce. So I pulled it all and we've eaten it, but it's too hot for these peas on the west facing side here. Uh, it just got too hot too quick, so I need to find a better place to grow the peas or perhaps to wait to try to grow them in the fall. This is kind of my rotating bed. It's got green beans in it and wax beans, purple beans, <laughs> and some carrots. And it had radishes at the very beginning of the season, but the radishes came and went and they actually did a really good job. And then just to try to see, if because again, it's so hot in the summer here, um, I put some little baby kales in between the green beans to see if that will help shade them so that they can still grow in the heat of the summer. And there's my favorite boy ever, Gus. 
Um, here are potatoes. I planted these on Good Friday. That's what I've always been taught to do as an Irish person. So they have been insanely intensely growing and I think we should have a really good harvest of those. So the rest of the garden are either cloth pots or regular pots that I'm using to kind of supplement since we don't have all of the beds that we would like to have. because We only have six right now. So in some cases, the cloth um, like containers are cut out underneath into the landscape fabric and pinned down so that the plants can actually develop roots down into the actual ground soil. Um, and then just like the regular containers are plants that are growing within the containers themselves. So here I've got some oregano and some remaining mescaline mix. I don't know how to say that. It's not surviving the heat. Um, I've got a few kale here. This one's been pretty prolific, but again, it's just getting too hot for the kale since we've got full direct sun 12 hours a day. Um, some spring onions. These are mini bell peppers. I have never successfully grown mini bell peppers before. Uh, but they're doing really well and they even have little tiny peppers on them. So I'm super stoked about that. I love peppers. And then here are my cherry tomatoes. I had one that died. It didn't make it. So I've put a bunch of peas inside there. Please don't eat them, Gus. Um, to see if, if I have them around the tomatoes, if that'll give the peas a little bit of shade so that they can grow in the summer. Over here, um, this is black diamond watermelon. I've grown these before um, and they're just going to, they go straight into the ground, the roots, and then I'm just gonna let it vine all out in this area. Uh, this was a volunteer onion. <laughs> I wasn't planning on growing any onions. So I'm just waiting to see how it does. I've been taken off the, the green parts to eat. And then I just put in some um, lettuce here, <laughs> again, just to, just to experiment since I have the seed. Over here, we have got uh, summer squash, which has been doing great. And I've already gotten three squashes off of that. Um, this is zucchini. I think this is not the best seed because last year I just, all of my zucchini were teeny tiny. And that seems to be what's happening this year too. This is honeydew melon. Uh, it was actually seed I saved, so I'm just gonna let it sprout out everywhere. Um, now that it's gotten really hot, the melons are doing so much better. And then these are a few more Roma tomatoes. These just, these seedlings have just been taking a really long time to grow, unlike the other two that I had, even though I started them at the same time. My neighbor gave me some sweet potato slips. So that's what this is. Uh, we're really in the wrong climate for sweet potato because it needs to be above 70 for like a hundred days. And that's, it's hot now, but it doesn't stay hot for that long. So this is just a Hail Mary, seeing if they'll grow. And then these are some blueberries I started last year. Um, they're not doing so great because they spent time outdoors this last winter and then the birds before even most of the flowers could turn have gotten into them you can see this is all over the place and they have eaten off all of the flowers before they even became blueberries so i need a different solution for the blueberries so things i am learning so far about this big installed permanent garden one, <laughs> I have to be careful of my full sun. Um, that's, I've never had full sun like this before, so I need better solutions for some uh, plants that can get overheated easily. And I'm going to try to do some fall plantings and see how far I can push into the fall. Um, that's hard because we have early frosts, sometimes in September and sometimes not until the first weekend in about October. Um, but it tends to be between in the 90s for like July and all of August. <laughs> so it's kind of like this toss up of what, 
how much time you have to what you can grow. And then um, also just, <laughs> just figuring out space and how to use the space in the small amount of beds that I have um, while, while doing this. But so far it's going, it's going super well. So if you're a Northern climate gardener, um, I really do recommend beds. And I also um, recommend if you don't have the finances to do everything at once to just put in a few beds at a time. That is, that is our garden uh, partway through the summer. And now we should be on the downward trend with the sun. It's just almost seven o'clock. It is still super, super bright. The sun comes up at about 5.30 and it doesn't go down till nine. So, holy buckets. You can't wait to steal the vegetables, can ya? Yeah, you vegetable thief. 